Hymn to Adversity, T. Gray. With adversity comes strength. The hymn is that it not be too harsh. The speaker is willing to learn a good lesson, but hopes not to be broken by it. Hymn to Adversity Daughter of Jove, relentless power, thou tamer of the human breast, whose iron scourge and torturing hour the bad affright afflict the best. Bound in thy adamantine chain, the proud are taught to taste of pain, and purple tyrants vainly groan, with pangs unfelt before, unpitied and alone. When first thy sire to send on earth, virtue his darling child designed, to thee he gave the heavenly birth, and bade to form her infant mind. Stern, rugged nurse, thy rigid lore, with patience many a year she bore. What sorrow was thou bidst her know, and from her own she learned to melt at others' woe. Scared at thy frown, terrific fly, self-pleasing follies idle brood, wild laughter, noise, and thoughtless joy, and leave us leisure to be good. Light they disperse, and with them go the summer friend, the flattering foe, by vain prosperity received. To her they vow their truth, and are again believed. Wisdom in sable garb arrayed, immersed in rapturous thought profound, and melancholy silent maid, with leaden eye that loves the ground. Still on thy solemn steps attend, warm charity, the general friend, with justice to herself severe, and pity dropping soft the sadly pleasing tear. O oh, gently on thy suppliant's head, dread goddess, lay thy chastening hand, not in thy gorgon terrors clad, nor circled with the vengeful band, as by the impious thou art seen. With thundering voice and threatening mien, with screaming horrors, funeral cry, despair, and fell disease, and ghastly poverty. Thy form benign, O goddess, where thy milder influence impart, thy philosophic train be there, to soften, not to wound my heart. The generous spark extinct revive, teach me to love and to forgive. Exact my own defects to scan, what others are to feel, and know myself a man.